we're not doing anything. Dumbasses. But it was just, it was all wrong. It was like, I was, you know, doing this whole, like, world, like, trying to take care of everybody, make sure everyone's happy. And then she comes out, and I'm trying to make her happy, and it's just, like, totally got fucked up. The underlying reality was totally there, is that, like, they're not going to do anything to hurt those girls. And they brought them out and had to spend, like, a lot of time, like, keeping them happy or whatever it was. When I was on tour, I was kind of like, that's when I'm going, like, when I go home, I'm going to, like, ask her to marry me. Just because I missed her so bad, I knew that, like, I couldn't, I couldn't be apart from her like that. He's a wee lad, he's been mixing his fried rice with his eggs. If that was a wee lad, Brendan, I would be broken my dog right in the ass. Are you ready? One, two, boom! Oh! Put that back on there, okay. One, two, you ready? <laughs> as far as dancing goes, I know I'm a good dancer. Thumbs okay. It's not that I consider myself a good dancer, it's like other people consider myself a good dancer. Nothing flamboyant, you know? No tricks like I have. Because like when you watch that old movie Footloose and Kevin Bacon is like really pissed, so he goes to like this old barn or something and he takes all of his aggressions out by dancing. That's how I was, it's like I felt like the weight of the world on my shoulders, it's like. <laughs> the awards ceremony the last night before was like the best dance party. I don't even try, but I deliver. It's one of those weird things, you know, like people go, hey, is that J-Lo's ex-husband or is that Tom from Blink? And they go, I, like I think that's Tom from Blink. You know, it's not about moshing. It's about dancing. But although J-Lo's ex-husband's a good-looking guy and a great dancer. <laughs> 